everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums, and I want to show you a haul that I got from Country Craft Creations. I was in Utah for a retreat. Uh, there's another video on that. Check my last video that I did or, or a couple of videos back. Country Craft Creations is a scrapbooking store based in Utah. They uh, also produce their own paper. Go check out the countrycraftcreations.com website for more information on all the things they carry and retreats and all sorts of things. I have been eyeing this Graphic 45 Flight of Fancy paper because I want to make something fabulous with it. Let me show you the paper and then I'll show you all the accoutrements that you can get with it. So this one is the 8x8 collection pack. And obviously you can see the colors, sort of a watercolory feel with uh, a rainbow of colors. Uh, look at the fun images on here. Hummingbirds, look at the zinnias, they're just gorgeous. Can you see them? And butterflies, um, just you know, all sorts of different colors. So that's the A side and then that's the B side there, the postcards. There are three of each of these. Here is a sheet just of zinnias. I think I'm starting on the B side, but that's okay. And there is the A side of that. Ooh, that'll be fun. This one is called Flying By to Say Hello. So that's the border strip sheet. And of course, everything in the 8x8 is also available in the 12x12. This one, oh, gorgeous. This is called Happy Hummingbirds which that makes sense. Just beautiful, beautiful colors. This one is called Hello Beautiful. So some more flowers. Are they hibiscus? It looks sort of like hibiscus and a couple of different flowers mixed in, but all in sort of, um, I wouldn't say pink, pink, but a pinkish red tone. This is a great paper because, you know, sometimes when I'm doing Graphic 45 albums, you like those longer strips of pattern paper. So this will be fun to use. This is called Dart and Dazzle. So there are some cut aparts on here that are going to be four by four. Oh, beautiful. So even if you have any of these left over, they would make gorgeous cards. This one is called Butterfly Wishes. Gorgeous deep purple on there. So again, that watercolory feel. And this is called Flight of Fancy, which looks to be the cover sheet. So again, a whole rainbow of beautiful saturated color. So there's lots you could do with this. Now I also picked up the patterns in solids. I like getting these because they're a great accessory when you're making an album to go along with it. You know that, again, it says patterns and solids, so you do get some coordinating solid colors. It's it's not a, a, a flat color. It's got some depth to it. And then there's the back side. There's two of those. And then here's another purple with the writing on the back side this gorgeous turquoise with butterflies on the back and this has a pattern to it. Here's this gorgeous orange. I'm not a fan of orange but since I've started using G45 paper this orange is just gorgeous. So there's more of those linear designs and again two of each of these so that will take you. I'll probably be able to get two good books out of this and there's the other one. And there is this reddish color, a cute pattern, and butterflies on that. I also did grab the 12 by 12 collection to uh, work with that. And then look at this. So you look at how nice that matches. I'll use some teal ink to touch this up, but otherwise that is gorgeous to go with it. So these are available at Country Craft Creations. Uh, and there's a great number of flowers in here. 
they've got a touch of iridescence to it and a, a little bit of glitter not a whole bunch so there's that now there's also this collection has chipboard tags and frames Oh, I left one in there, but you get the idea. Some frames, these tags, that's a great size. So, and here you can see the beautiful color. There's three in this one, look. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, I wonder if I'll use all three of those at once. Three of those, three of those. Oh, what a good selection of tags. And, and you know, if these tags are too thick for what you're doing, you know you can peel off some layers of cardboard from the back. So with this, you get 30 assorted frames and tags. All right, let me move these out of the way for a second and show you. This one is the ephemera pack. Now, of course, all this is available at countrycraftcreations.com. You can order it online. Their shipping is fabulous. They get it out very quickly to you. They do ship to other countries, but of course, whatever the postage is, is not up to CCC. It is whatever that country is going to charge. Isn't that pretty, those zinnias? So how many? 59 assorted pieces. Look at that. Spread your wings and fly. That would make a great um, cover piece. I'm thinking cards with all of these. That is just so pretty. So anyhow, 59 pieces. There's some a roll of stamps that are uh, you can cut apart if you want to. So uh, more not a roll of stamps, but stamps. So lots of that. And then Graphic 45 has started doing some rub-ons lately. Let me show you the rub-on sheet. Oops, you guys flew away. So there are two sheets of rub-ons. Oh, there we go. I'm not going to take it out of the package, but I want to make sure you can see. So um, just some fun rub-ons. And you can put these on all sorts of different materials going to practice um, with another collection on some uh, fabric and see how that comes out. But this is great to decorate photo mats and things like that or to put on the photos once you've got the photos in. I'll show you a couple other things that I got to go along with it. So I don't know if you know but Scork Tape does come in the one inch piece, one inch side. So I've got the quarter inch, the three eighths. I, I use Score Tape sheets but the one inch is great. It works really well if you're doing little cut aparts and you want to add adhesive to it. But also, if you're using the score tape sheets and you need some more pieces to fill it in, this is a great buy. You also can uh, cut this down if you needed to. So anyhow, score tape in the one inch. There is 27 yards. This is a fabulous value. And then I also picked up some black artisan cardstock. Grab. So the Artisan cardstock has a linen texture. It's 87 pound weight. It folds and scores like a dream. If you're making a mini album, let's face it, you, you want this to be uh, an heirloom or something you can uh, keep forever. You want it to stay together. Use the Artisan cardstock. This really does. Um, it is worth its weight. So go ahead and check that out. So that is what I have to show you. Look for the next project of mine coming up using the Graphic 45 Flight of Fancy. That's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day.